Hey guys, Jessica Catalano here. Today we're gonna take you on a fridge tour. Now, don't mind too much of a messiness here. Now you guys might be wondering what I have in my fridge, so I'm gonna show you. So, on the bottom here, we've got some fresh almonds, some goat cheese, Hi, MJ, and some Swiss cheese. Now this is all for MJ and er Eric here. They are vegetarians. Eric already told me that he knows. Yes, you are. It will be inevitable that he will be turning vegan at some point in the future. So that's cool. I think MJ is on her way as well. We have some veggie ham. This is seriously, guys, the best veggie ham ever. It does not taste like crap. It tastes so delicious. Light Life Smart Dogs, amazing as well. These are not healthy by any means, you guys. Um, but, oh, yeah, I should probably turn off the alarm here. Um, but these I keep on handy um, just for Eric, for days that he needs to rush and doesn't want to fuss with making bread because I'm the bread maker in the house. And we have some snap peas, celery, jicama, Ginger, lots of ginger root left over from my juicing. Some tomatillos. And then we have a bunch of jalapeno peppers, bell peppers, lemons and limes. We have delicious, delicious organic baby bellas. So good. Let's see. Yeah, product of Canada. So not local, but still delicious. That is kind of far. I mean, Canada is actually pretty close to us. Um, we're in right by Seattle, so um, not too far away, but still, it does have a lot of emissions attached to that. Now, this, this is so bad. <laughs> Eric is trying to break his addiction to diet pop, so... You getting a seltzer, mm -hmm. MJ? Yeah, I'm getting one. Okay, MJ is not allowed to drink pop, so <sighs> we get her... Flavored seltzer water. Do you need help? I'm joking. One sec. Do you get her to f flavored seltzer water? She doesn't drink it all day, but you know, maybe once a day, maybe twice if she's having a, you know, a very exhausting day from the weather. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, you know, there's nothing bad in here. However, again, Eric knows this is bad. I don't really like drinking pop at all. I mean, if I'm going to drink something, if I need a pop, which is pretty rarely, um, I have actually some cane sugar Mexican Coca-Cola in the garage in our outside pantry. And I only drink that a few times, so not very much. Um, because I don't really like running on caffeine. Ca I'm so sensitive to caffeine, it's just a mess, so I try to stay away from it. But on the days that I do, that's what I go to. Again, hopefully he can quit this habit. You hear me, baby? You better be quitting this habit. <laughs> This is a rare occasion. Um, Eric's, or not Eric, MJ's been getting this from her school. So this stopped, this actually stopped last week um, due to the pandemic. Um, however, we don't buy milk in our house. We actually, I make my own coconut milk. And so this is not beer. This is a jug of homemade coconut milk. Yeah. Yep. And that's what generally what MJ drinks, but she's been having this milk. Which is not a bad thing um, for her. She's a vegetarian. Yeah, we make bunny milk out of it. Um, but again, I don't really like supporting cow milk. And MJ has been telling me that she doesn't really want to get it anymore either because it uh, steals the milk from the baby cow. So, yeah, it sounds like <laughs> she'll probably be going vegan at some point in the future. <laughs> Here's some um, free-range organic eggs. Again, um, not vegan. This is for Eric and MJ, but I found myself in the dilemma now. Um, Eric doesn't want to eat eggs anymore. He just wants to eat veggies and goat cheese. So that's cool. Um, MJ is not really into eggs anymore and she used to be hardcore into eggs. So that's crazy as well. So I've got like half a carton of eggs and no one wants to eat them. So I don't know if I'm going to have to give these away, but we'll see. All our beautiful apples back here in the very back. This is very, literally lined all the way to the back of here with yeast. So that's from my bread. And yes, it looks like I'm hoarding, but 
Um, yeast has been a precious commodity with the pandemic, so I definitely stocked up. And we have some more up here, as you can see. But again, I make bread every day, so we're actually going through this pretty fast. Some raspberries and some flour tortillas and some salad. Now, with these bags, you can um, get them recycled in certain areas, but it's like super, you know, it's not like everywhere. So just so you know. Um, but I generally just wash these out and actually just reuse them. We put like lunches in them or snacks or whatever and just keep reusing them until they, you know, get a hole in them. Um, you can also tear cycle them too, just collect them. Now we've got sweet pickled beets. MJ and Eric are a big fan. I got natural peanut butter in here. We've got some hummus and applesauce and some kind of plant-based butter back there. I think it's the Smart Balance Omega blend. Our lovely figs, grapes, tons of grapes back there. More grapes. These figgies need to be eaten like ASAP, so this is, that's going to be eaten here shortly. And filtered water. So we just filter it through the zero filter. It's just easier that way. And just put it in there. I've got a bunch of dried mango. Um, some of it's CBD infused, the top, the bottom one is not. Made it into the hydrator. And then we've got some apricots, some fig coconut. What is it? Mango, bunch of other stuff, little balls. And this is, this is a fun little salad topper, hemp hearts, um, little of those Chinese uh, noodle things, fried noodles, not healthy, but delicious. This is just a salad topper for Eric. And then almonds and then black sesame seeds and white sesame seeds. And then we've got a random miscellaneous can of mandarin oranges and some leftover macaroni and cheese from MJ Organic Mac and Cheese. Now, with the canned foods, I definitely recommend fresh over canned, but this is the back stock. We have an emergency pantry overflow in the back, uh, in the garage, and we do have canned fruit just for emergencies and other canned vegetables. Now, we don't normally eat from that, but when they start to expire, I have to do something with it. So it becomes a snack. Again, fresh fruit, way better than the canned fruit. But the canned fruit is a great backup system if there is an emergency or problem. So that's that. Then we have this. So I got a bunch of supplements. We've got, oh man, we're fogging up here. All this humidity. Vitamin D supplement, B12. Again, we don't live in a perfect world, so we're not able to get our B12 from the ground, the dirt, which it, where it is, because the soil is so stripped. This is kids' probiotic that I actually use to make vegan cheese. So, echinacea, kava, kava is awesome. This is my little secret treat of infused, hee <laughs> hee, if you know what I mean. Cherries that my friend made me in Colorado. Um, these I just get into when I need one. And then we've got some hemp products back here, CBD water. We got some flavored syrups from Armor Ready. Thank you guys for sending these to me. These are great and smoothies and all sorts of desserts and my coconut compound. Now, the condiment section. This is, we don't have a lot of condiments, I don't think, compared to most people, but still, these things you shouldn't be eating all the time because they're, you know, full of salts, but we try to get the reduced sodium ones. We've got the apple cider vinegar, raw unpasteurized with the mother. We have little tapatio. I love tapatio. Yeah, your favorite, MJ's favorite. Sweet, sweet chili sauce. <laughs> sweet chili sauce. This is my outfit. Oh, yes. You need to go comb your hair, girlfriend. Seriously. Yeah, seriously. I'm going to make that video. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Organic Mellow Miso. This is great probiotics, you guys. Unpasteurized, the red. This is great for soups. This is like my secret ingredient to all my soups. It makes it the, the broth so rich. And we got sriracha. We're a big sriracha family in here. We got reduced balsamic vinegar. We've got horseradish sauce. We've got 
Uh, Worcestershire, we've got, what is this, hoisin sauce. I don't think you can see it. There we go. And kitty sauce, as MJ calls it. <laughs> this is actually soy sauce, but she calls it kitty sauce. <laughs> Obviously, you can see why. Hello Kitty, that's right. So, vegan mayonnaise. Eric and MJ aren't a fan of mayonnaise. I, I'm not fan of mayonnaise. Yeah, I like it now and then in my chickpea salads, but we don't go through it super fast. Eric's sweet hot pepper mustard relish for our salad. Our, um, again, chickpea salads. This, this is like, this is, this is ridiculous. This bottle is like almost $6. And we seriously go through the bottle in like, I think like less than three days. It's so ridiculous. MJ and Eric just like gobble this stuff up. It is high in fat though. Check this out. Let's see. Total fat, 15 grams. Saturated fat, one gram. Yeah, I mean, it's not super bad. The ingredients are pretty good. But again, that will definitely fatten you up quickly if you're using that every day. Some ketchup. This is the Simply Heinz. So this does not have the high fructose corn syrup, just so you know, guys. This is the healthier version of ketchup. And then we have some bacon bits back there. Now, did you know, fun fact of the day, bacon bits are actually vegan. Look at the ingredients. They are, they should be, um, like, advertising this because I think they get a bigger customer base, but they don't, so... Hey, bacon bits, guys. Come on, McCormick. Get with it. <laughs> oh, you found your phone, MJ? Yeah, I found my phone. Hey, we, we have the run over here. This is um, dried plums. Run over soy sauce. This is the soy sauce light, less sodium. This is our our little uh, soda? Taco Bell adventures, the extra sauces the, we and keep. And this is baking soda. And baking soda to keep the fridge smelling nice, right? Now... They have a lot of great vegetarian options there for Eric and MJ, but they also can make anything vegan, just so you know. That is a great place you can go to if you are in a pinch for vegan food. You know, it's not healthy by any means. It's fast food, but it's better than uh, eating meat. So, Again, the active dry yeast. We've got more dried fruit, cherries, apples, and raisins. More plums, raspberry sauce, MJ's half-drinking kombucha. Yep, maple syrup, Hershey's. Chip. Yeah, Simple. this is Hershey's Simple Simply Five, so it only has five ingredients. So if you want to get Hershey's syrup, definitely get that. Chocolate. Yeah, it's chocolate. Now we've got buck, uh, buckwheat flour. This is my favorite. MJ's little lemon juice thing that she puts in her water all the time. She is like a big girl. We've got flaxseed, 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 chia seed, chia seed, hemp seed. And I have all the extra seeds, again, in the overflow in the back in the garage. However, I'm not taking you to the garage today because Eric's getting another motorcycle today. And he's got to make room for his new bike. So we don't have, it just looks like chaos back there, seriously. Like a hoarder lives back there. So I'm not taking you back there because it's embarrassing. <laughs> but so big yeah but anyways um i'm about to run out of the hemp seeds however i got tons more in the back and the back stock this is not we don't take this for a tummy these capsules i actually use um to make uh raw cheese uh raw vegan cheese so out of nuts um and it cultures the the nuts and it changes it changes it into a um, sliceable cheese so it's really really cool really fun to make I'll have to do a recipe thing for that so that's that not entirely perfect by any means but you gotta do what you gotta do here's the freezer got your little icy packs in case of a boo-boo this is MJ's junk food app these little things she got from school and this isn't really a chicken sandwich it's a vegan chicken sandwich so we've got emerge plant-based meatless ground and we've got tons of impossible burgers these are very cool these are otter pops so traditional freezy pops in america are super gross they're just full of sugar and fake colors these is just are just made out of uh 
uh, fresh juice. It's just frozen juice. It's awesome. Um, no artificial colors. You want one of them? So super healthy for the kids. Um, just tear a cycle or bring the plastic to an area that gets rid of that plastic. Otherwise, I would recommend not buying them. But if you can make it work where you can recycle them, then great. You can freeze tofu in case you did not know that. Check this out. I've got one, two, three, four, five little blocks of tofu frozen here. And it's perfectly fine. And you can also freeze tempa. How cool is that? I bet you guys didn't know that. Or some of you might know that, but probably some of you don't. So fun tip of the this, day. This is an otter pop. That is an otter pop. This. We also have, let's see, little fake veggie um, sausages, maple sausages. We've got, what the hell is this? Oh, yeah. Little um, veggie meatballs. We've got veggie spring rolls. More, more vegan. soy sauce. More soy sauce, yeah. And we taste This it. is meatless crumble ground. Yep. These are MJ's little organic oh. vegan pizza pot. It's yeah. the Amy's. Oh, my favorite. Yeah, and this is Tofurky. We got this on sale, so this was yeah. awesome. That's like my favorite thing the whole life. Yeah, I think I get these little ice crystals on here. <laughs> I'm gonna mess everything up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Daya pumpkin cheesecake. I got that on sale recently. That was awesome. I love pumpkin spice cheesecake. I thought, I thought that, that, that yeah. one or that one. Here we've got leftover spaghetti sauce that I froze. These are some bok choy. These three things are bok choy. I think what actually two is bok choy, one's green beans. We've got, let's see, ha, uh, hummus and guacamole. Again, things you can freeze. It, it sounds like something weird, like oh, you wouldn't be able to freeze, but you absolutely can, so. Fun fact, we're freezing some cotton candy grapes. I'm gonna have one right now. Hmm. We're gonna freeze these. Yep. Hmm. Um, Frozen grapes are seriously the best, you guys. It's a treat in the summertime. And it's also delicious in your juice or um, where else? Put them in your smoothies. Or well, if you're making an adult cocktail, throw, them, throw those in as ice cubes. Even with water, super delicious. It's okay, cocktail. Yeah. Now, um, so once these dry, or not dry up, once they freeze, I'll be putting them in the container. But under here, we've got some organic adamame, and then we've got a bag of organic um, peas and a bag of organic corn. And then on the very, very bottom, which I'm not gonna dig out because we have got grapes here are my edibles, so <laughs> hiding them from the kids. Cotton candy grapes. Now, here's a, a container of cotton candy grapes. We got our ice, and these are blueberries. This is soap All nuts. blueberries. Soap nuts, these are soap nuts. No, the soap nuts are in the freezer. Those are little ice cube things. Inside this little bag. Some backup apple juice, and then some jackfruit. So that's the freezer. And then we brought this pantry here. And you got hibiscus tea, chicory, a bunch of random Tazo teas in there I, that I collect randomly from places. So those are just recycled containers. Some honey, that's for Eric. More honey, it's all raw. That's for Eric and MJ because they are the honey lovers, the bee vomit lovers. <laughs> Some coffee. That seriously has been taking us forever to get through. Eric used to be a huge coffee drinker, so was I. Um, but then I had MJ, and I literally, you know, only drank um, coffee from, you know, after breastfeeding from that point forward. Very sparingly. Eric drinks it sparingly now. We still love coffee, but it's more of a treat. But unfortunately, we just don't go through it as fast. Okay, MJ, don't talk with your mouth full, please. We've got a bunch of little bag holder thingy, squeezy things, whatever you want to call them. And back there, I collect all the little twist ties from produce so we can reuse these. Bunch of herbal teas, all sorts of stuff. Cold season, we got red clover. What else do we have back there? Tension tamer, the Christmas blends. More Sleepy Time Vanilla, Robios, or Red Robios, however the hell you say that. Dandelion. Leftover Hemp Coffee. And then we've got Senna Tea Smooth Move. 
And that, again, don't be drinking that every day, guys. You're going to hurt yourself. That's like, these are like, this is like an emergency. So, again, all the stuff that we have is like, you know, we use that medicinally as well. So, um, these, you know, as you need. But like this, dandelion, I'm not going to drink this every day. That's more of a medicinal. So, we've got medicinal teas and non-medicinal teas. And then peppermint tea. And again, when you stay at hotels, you get all those random teas. I always take them and keep them because they're fun. So we got that. And oh, yeah, Oprah chai. Also, oh, and green tea. Look at that, green tea powder. I got to give that away because I barely use that stuff. Maybe I can bake with it, make some green tea cookies or something. Oreos, vegan. For those of you who don't know, but they are junk food, so they're not good for you. <laughs> we generally don't have these treats in the house. However, these vegan gummies and vegan Oreos, um, we have because I made Eric an ice cream cake for his birthday about, what, a week and a half ago? What? Huh? Not right now, MJ. Um, about a week and a half ago, so we have stuff left over, but I will not be buying any more of this. And this, you see this junk food in here? Cheetos. Gross. <laughs> I know, that's enough. We got hot cocoa. We have dried lime. Okay, this is like, so there are fig bars in here, but as it gets low, I just start adding in more treats in here that, you know, MJ has so got random miscellaneous treats in there. We've got cliff bars in here as well as granola bar, what is this? Uh, honey, this is oats and honey for Eric and MJ, and their little granola bar here. And then we got crackers and sunflower seeds and cookies. Those are the low sugar cookies though. I mean, it doesn't have like artificial flavors in it, um, but it just doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. So those are fun for MJ. More corn flakes and oatmeal and oat groats. And then we have some rice grits. I showed this pantry to you guys in the previous video. This is my spice cabinet. And yes, it is always as organized as this because I have OCD issues. <laughs> and then we have tomatoes, some dates. I have more dates, bunch of boxes in the back again, overflow, but this is just what I need for next couple days. We have uh, tamar tamarind, sorry, tamarind, which is awesome. I love that for curries, they're really good secret ingredient as well if you haven't used it I'm sorry about the lighting here you guys I gotta get something for that but like living in the Pacific Northwest is ridiculous this this is my bag girl cabinet this is L-glutamine BCAs <laughs> creatine up here random little thing for MJ it's our little stack of stuff and what else do I have in here Beta alanine. Yeah, so these are my supplements that I use. I'm not against supplements. I mean, if you want to use them, use them. Um, I'm totally coming away from protein powders, though. That's the one thing. Like, this isn't too bad, this Orgain. It's made from nuts and seeds. It's literally, what? Well, yeah, see, they, you can see the ingredients right there. Um, it's just simple dried whole foods broken down so they're not whole anymore. Um, so there's not a lot of crap ingredients or fillers, which is nice, but I just, I feel like you should just get your protein and everything else from food. So I'm, this isn't the last time I'm gonna be buying a protein powder product. However, again, thank you for making a good product because it is pretty good. Um, but again, not my thing anymore, so. That's just how it goes, I guess. Some olive oil, balsamic vinegar, the leftover nature's wild berry, and coconut spray. We've got some hazelnut spread down there. And then our banana stash and plums. And we got plums. <laughs> yeah, we got our mangoes and banana. Um, and real quick, you guys, if you don't have a juicer, if you've been following my videos, you know I'm all about juicing 
Check this out. I got this from the I thrift store. Lemons. Yeah, you could do lemons or yeah. oranges or whatever. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. So if you guys don't want to get a juicer, yeah, you can literally, yeah, just squish your lemons in there like MJ said and then drink it. <laughs> so I only got that from a, a couple bucks. Okay. Yes. I got this for a couple of bucks. Literally, I think it was like two bucks. Um, someone made this, so it was very loved. And I love going to the thrift store to buy, like, you know, you can get, like, awesome ceramic. Yeah. And, you know, you can get some awesome, really cool, you know, handmade stuff from people that people just get rid of. So, something to think about. And then, I don't think I have any more. Yeah, I don't, but... As you can see from there. Um, and yeah, guys, don't knock on the thrift store. I used to hate thrift stores. My mom tried to get me into it for years as I was a kid. And I would totally complain and make the experience awful. And she was just trying to show me how to save money. And um, I would never buy anything from the thrift store, like clothes-wise, because I thought... Someone died in it. Legitimately, I thought someone died in those clothes. So that's why they were there. And <laughs> I also thought like a lot of things were haunted. I don't know. I don't know what was wrong with me, but I definitely wasn't into it. And then I met Eric, who's like the thrift store king. And um, he would take me to the thrift store and be like, come on, come with me. And I'd be like, no, I don't want to do it. And... <laughs> yeah, but finally, one day, you guys... I found like a $180 hoodie, brand new, right? Brand new. Barely used, maybe. Maybe worn once and then forgotten, like just thrown away. And I got it for like, I think it was like six bucks or something. I was like, what is going on? So at that moment, it clicked. I understood what their stores were all about. And from that point forward, I stopped buying things at full price. And I've been going to the thrift stores ever since, so... Fun fact, you guys, you can find a lot of cool things if you can just get over your uh, preconceived uh, notions or issues. <laughs> so, let's get into this cupboard. This is our quinoa, rice, well, quinoa, but rice. I got some more quinoa. We got some dried beans, lots of dried beans, lentils. Or those are actually split peas, sorry, split peas. Yeah, they are. Some gluten-free noodles. What? Yeah, all gluten-free. What is this? Yeah. And this, and this, and this, and this. Yep. And this. They've got rice wrappers. Nori. These are raw. Super delicious, you guys. Organic raw. We got some more rice. I got an empty jar because I got some basmati rice in the um, back pantry in the garage that I need to get out once I get through all this. Instant potatoes for MJ and Eric. MJ's Annie's organic shells. And this is top ramen for MJ and Eric when they have their little noodle cravings, um, ramen cravings. It's not healthy by any means. There's so much salt in those little packets. But a tip to get around that is to only add like half the packet. And it'll taste just as good, but it's not going to have all that sodium, which makes you blow up. Angel hair pasta, yum yum. Got lots of canned tomatoes, tomato paste. And I gotta fill this up here shortly because we're gonna be out of here, out of this, some of this stuff. But um, this is my, this is the coconut we, milk we, we buy to make the coconut milk. And sometimes I buy actual coconuts when they're good quality to make coconut milk as well. And then you can also make coconut milk with a bunch of the dried coconut flakes I have in the back, which we do as well. So we do a combination of three, three of those things, which is fun because it kind of changes up the flavor a little bit. But peanut butter pretzels, Costco. Eric's chocolate raisins. Pop toys. MJ's little, yes, vegetarian cheese mix. Look at you, girlfriend, with your and cheesy this is, cheese. This is a total... The, the yeah. Popcorn, caramel, popcorn. caramel, yes. They seem to the bottom because it's really heavy. Yeah, they do. And we've got some black beans. The, we've got some oranges, oranges. Which is these two. Yeah. 
and salmon for Mal and Red Talk. Tuna for the kitties, yep. And then it's Mal and Red Talk. Yeah, and you might be asking me, how, why is a vegan person buying um, meat for a cat? I think it's actually cat abuse, uh, animal abuse. If you make a cat eat... Pass on this. Just a second, okay. MJ. Just a second. Okay. Can you move for a second? Thank you. I think it's actually uh, animal abuse. If you make a cat eat vegan cat food, it's cruel. Cats are obligate carnivores. Google what that means. That means they are strictly carnivores. They can only, they should only be eating meat. To not, eat, to not, they're, they're not allowed to be vegetarian. Yeah, if you try to mix, put them onto a vegan diet, you're seriously, you're going to hurt your cat in the long run. I know a lot of people are going to argue with me about that, but if you actually do the research on it, there have been tons of cats that have died well, off of being, well, from, being a vegetarian. Well, from being forced to be vegan when their body doesn't operate like that. So there's a big difference between humans and there's a big difference between cats. Cats have a shorter it's vicious. have a shorter um, intestinal tract. All their teeth are pointy. They they have claws. I mean, their nose. Yeah, yeah, they've got two different senses on their nose and then on the roof of their mouth that they use to breathe in, to hunt, you know, to pick up scent. And, and when they smell, they, they yeah. open up their mouth. That's right, they do when they get the big scents, huh? Yep. So please, if you're vegan and you have a cat, please just buy cat food, please. Yeah, like it, Yeah, I know it's, tuna. again, I know again it's not ideal but we don't live in an ideal world and veganism isn't about being perfect or about being elitist okay if you don't want to have a cat and be vegan then maybe give the cat to someone who will take care of that cat yep. or don't adopt a cat but i feel it's important to adopt cats and other animals because we have put them into a situation where they're suffering in pet shelters and it's just ridiculous by overbreeding them so i feel like we, it's our duty to adopt shelter pets and to take care of them because otherwise they're either going to be put down or they're going to be waste their life in, a, in you know a little box like Mao did. 30 days she was trapped in her little box at the shelter because no one wanted her. And she's the most perfect cat in the world. Only because she was black and because people are superstitious about black cats. It's ridiculous. So again, guys... Yes, that's tuna for the cats. Yes, that isn't vegan, but cats are obligate carnivores, and that's what they need to be fed to be healthy. So please don't jack up your cat's health until there's a scientific proven study where the, you know some scientist comes up with something like maybe lab meat you know, that they're doing for cat food. I'd be totally all about that, and I'll switch my cats to it. But until then, they're going to have to you know get their tuna and stuff. Um, from the store you know and their cat food so please just take care of your animals thank you and another tip about cats is you can always let your cats outside to hunt all day for themselves to feed themselves with mice and things like that and you're you know more welcome to do that that way just know that cats that live outside 